Hi, today we're going to talk about how to monitor vine mealybug in grapes. Vine mealybug is the most important insect when it comes to grape production, whether it's table, raisin, or wine grape. Vine mealybug overwinters in all developmental stages. You'll find them uh, from the egg stage and the egg sacs up to the adult and everything, everything in between. Uh, the vine mealybug in the winter time will migrate as the vine st uh, staff starts sending its sugars to the trunk in the roots. The mealybug will migrate with it following the sugars and oftentimes it'll be overwintering in crevices or in, uh, uh, in lesions in the trunk of the vine. But the majority of the population will end up going down to the roots and over overwinter there because it's easy access for them to feed. As the temperatures start to warm up in the spring, as the vine starts to send sugars to the growing points, the mealybug uh, is able to tap into the phloem. It knows that, that movement of the carbohydrate. So it'll start making the movements away from the roots into the trunk and uh, into the buds. It's very important to start monitoring the uh, vine mealybug population early in the season so you can start taking measures in, in, in when it comes to control. This is delayed, delayed dormant timing. We don't have bud break just yet, but we're talking about uh, an application early in the season for a plot for those growers that need to make an application uh, this time of year to reduce the pop mealybug population so we can make it more, uh, more manageable in season. Start pulling off the bark, you'll find every developmental stage here. A lot of adults with egg masses that will be hatching here pretty soon when the temperatures reach 65 degrees. We also have ants protecting them from biocontrol, feeding on the uh, honeydew that the mealybug uh, is producing. Here, I pulled some of the bar back and I can already see mealybug on the trunk. They're already making their way up uh, from the roots uh, into the trunk, find better uh, places for them to start feeding. Here we have a mixed population uh, of adults, uh, first and second instars, and even some, some egg masses in here. Uh, these egg masses are going to start to hatch up here when the temperature reaches 65 degrees. And again, these crawlers are going to start moving to the growing points to feed. Right now would be a good time to consider uh, an applaud application to reduce the populations. Uh, right now, that we won't have any foliage or uh, fruit in the vine, which means that, uh, that we won't have any issues with uh, uh, residues being found on the fruit. The product is not systemic or translaminar, so it doesn't get into the plant tissue itself.